Hey there. Welcome to Life Noggin. Ouch, dang it, Triangle Bob, why did you do that? Sometimes I wish my animator never programmed me to have pain. Quite frankly, I have no idea why he gave it to me in the first place. What is it good for anyway? And what if we never felt pain? Pain can be a little difficult to accurately define, but it's basically an uncomfortable feeling that's typically your body's way of warning you that something is wrong. It can range anywhere from a little headache to when you burn yourself trying to make s'mores, which is totally worth it because s'mores are delicious. There are two main types, acute pain and chronic pain. Acute pain is severe or sudden pain that's usually more short-lived, like when you step on a toy or get hit in the head with a baseball. You know, normal everyday things things that happen to people. Chronic pain is more persistent and can last for months or even longer. Pain can have different causes, but it typically begins when your nerves are stimulated. Let's say you get stung by a bee which is bad, but remember we still need to save them. It probably released melitin, a toxin in its venom. Once your nerve endings receive the painful sensory information from Mr. Stripes over here, it sends this information through your body and to your spinal cord, usually continuing on to your brain. Ow. Pain can really stink sometimes, but it can be helpful in diagnosing a problem. Without it, you might not figure out that you have a medical problem that needs treatment. You could even severely hurt yourself without knowing it. It may have hurt when I burned myself making those s'mores, but without the pain, I might not have realized that I was in danger until I needed my animator to illustrate a new arm for me. That being said, some pain can occur without any reason that we know of or when we can't really do anything about it, which is more often found with chronic pain. Maybe one day we'll all get futuristic tech that senses pain for us, so we can have all the good without the bad. But not everyone feels pain, which can be the effect of certain conditions. One is called CIPA, or the Congenital Insensitivity to Pain with Anhydrosis. The condition has two main defining characteristics, the inability to sense or feel pain and temperatures, and decreased or absent sweating. It can be common for people with CIPA to unintentionally injure themselves like biting their tongue or lips. Individuals with CIPA can also heal slowly from skin and bone injuries. Most people do feel pain though, and one way doctors treat pain is with painkillers. This can sometimes be troublesome since painkillers are often based on compounds that can be addictive. They can be very useful in treating certain pains, but according to a 2011 press release from the CDC, prescription painkiller overdoses kill more people than cocaine and heroin combined. Mind. Over 40 people die every day from overdoses involving narcotic pain relievers. It seems to be more of an issue when people try and use painkillers for treating longer chronic pain rather than short-lived acute pain. All in all, pain seems to have an important purpose, even if sometimes it can be a thorn in your side. Literally. Ow! Okay, y you didn't have to do it, animator. Let us know what we should talk about next in the comment section below. And if you want to know how to build the perfect armor so that you never feel pain, check out the video we did over on our other channel, Play Noggin. So if I wanted to make impenetrable, truly bulletproof body armor, what would it look like? The first place my mind goes is to the suits of armor old-timey knights wore. Metal is tough, and the thought of being covered in that makes me feel all safe and warm. As always, my name is Blacko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.